Part of the physical toll of months of anguish, a son brutally murdered in a country 10,000 kilometers from home. The crimes of Luca Magnata were some of the most sensational in Canadian history. Last week, after nearly three months in court, a jury found Magnata guilty of all charges, including first-degree murder. He was sentenced to life behind bars. It's a verdict that brought a small bit of comfort to a family still in shock. Uh, I told them uh, he got the highest penalty and I'm very happy about this. But he says the pain of Junlin's loss will forever linger. Back home in China, his wife has become too sick to work and their daughter has left her job to care for her. Losing some means lose everything to me. Li Zhanlin himself is also unemployed. He quit work to come to Canada for the trial, a difficult experience he says was made bearable by the kindness of strangers. Some warm-hearted warm people uh, just hug me and want to comfort me. When asked if he could ever forgive his son's killer, Dijon Lin says no, but he still hopes one day to meet Magnata. But I just want to ask him why he did this. Tomorrow would have been Jun Lin's 36th birthday. To mark the occasion, Dijon Lin plans to visit the Montreal Cemetery where his son is buried. He plans on heading back home to China in January. Brigitte Noel, CBC News, Montreal.